So the ABO blood groups are an example where you have multiple alleles for one gene. You have IA, IB, and lowercase i. The IA gives you A antigens on red blood cells, while the IB, B antigens, and the lowercase i means no antigens on the red blood cells. Notice that the IA and the IB are co-dominant, but the lowercase i is recessive to the other two. Now there are four possible phenotypes for blood groups. Those are A, B, AB, and O. The genotypes associated with them, for blood group A, you can have IA, IA, that's homozygous, or you can get IA, lowercase i, heterozygous. For B, it's similar, IB, IB, or you can have IB, lowercase i, but for AB, there's only one possible genotype, that's IA, IB, and for O, there's also one possible genotype, and that's lowercase i, lowercase i. Let's say that a couple have children and that the father is blood group AB and the mother is heterozygous for blood group A. This means that the only possible genotype for the father is IA, IB and the only possible genotype for the mother is IA, lowercase i and that's because you were told she was heterozygous. The gametes produced from this, well the father can only produce IA and IB and the mother can only produce IA, lowercase i. So the next thing you would do is that you would put these gametes into a Punnett grid or otherwise known as a Punnett square in order to look at the possible genotypes of the offspring. From doing this you can in fact see that there's a 25% chance of getting each genotype. There's actually four possible genotypes. That is IA, IA, there's IA lowercase i, there's IA, IB, and there's IB lowercase i. However, from the genotypic ratio, when you're producing the phenotypic ratio, you will see that there's actually a 50% chance of getting blood group A. Uh, notice there were two genotypes for that, a heterozygous and a homozygous. 25% of blood group AB and 25% blood group B.